guest is a three-time Emmy Award-winning actress, and her hit HBO show, Veep, is back for a second season. Check it out. I thought maybe we could agree that at any joint meetings that you and I have with the president, I will be first in and I will be last out. Fine. But as senior strategist, I'll already be in the room. Are you suggesting that a senior strategist is a higher position than a vice president? Well, it depends on the vice president. Yeah? Well, this one is me, and I'm great. Thank you so much. Aren't they lovely people? They are. They I really love are. these people. Really, that's a cool, a cool crowd you got here. Yeah, it's a happy room. It's good to see you. I saw you. I think the last time I saw you, uh, I was at a hair salon, right? You were in a hair salon, mm -hmm. and it was an unusual, an unusual <laughs> meeting that we had because I had all these foils in my hair, getting all colored, mm -hmm. and you came walking in with a huge tree branch. That's right. Yes, but I mean, when I say huge, guys, I mean it was like the, the size of me. Yeah. Yeah? I, I can mean, barely get it through you the door. Can you, were, you were with a huge smile on your face. That's right. And it was a crowded salon. It was crowded. Mm -hmm. It was a Saturday. It was filled, packed with people with foils in their hair. And you, and, and I was sitting next to Portia, uh -huh. and you presented this to her as That's an right. offering. That's right. It, it reminded me of when, like, a, a cat kills a mouse and brings it to its master. Yes. It, it, it had, yeah. And you were very pleased. And right. what happened with that branch? Well, I don't like to bring dead mice to people, so what I do, yes. I, was, I, was, I was just coming to visit, and when I got out of the car, there was this, this enormous branch on the sidewalk that had fallen from a tree. It was like the entire branch. And I thought, well, that would be funny to bring to her. Right. Anyway, that's what I was doing. Let's talk about you. Yes. Let's talk about uh, you. Congr congratulations. You won your third Emmy yeah. for your show. Thank you. Thank you. So, now, uh, and I understand Vice President uh, Joe Biden has uh, reached out to you since seeing it? Oh, my God. So, I, uh, this, uh, this happened about a month ago because we just finished, uh, the, the season premieres um, this coming weekend on Sunday, but uh, we just finished wrapping a couple weeks ago, uh, filming the show. And I'm on the set, and um, my assistant has my phone, and there was a call, and she's listening to the messages, and her face goes like this. She goes, and I go, oh my God, something horrible has happened. She goes, no, 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 listen, listen. And it's a message from Joe Biden. And he says, you know, hey, it's, it's Joe Biden, and I'm calling to congratulate you and, uh, on winning the Emmy, and I'm so sorry I didn't call you earlier. <laughs> you know. And, and, of course, I'm glad he apologized, because I have been living. Yeah. Has he called yet? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's an outrage I haven't heard from the vice president. And you have met, you met him actually here on the show before you even That's right. did that show. Before he was even vice president. Yeah, which I think you wanted to be here to meet him, right? Oh, I love Joe yeah. Biden. I think we have a clip. This is, uh, this is what happened. Exactly. That, right? Now that I look at that, of course he should have called. All right, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, yeah. uh, we are going to. Uh, well, we have a little surprise. It's a little kind uh -oh. of a, a game to see how well you know our vice presidents. Okay? We'll be right back. President on your show Veep, and yes. we thought we would test your knowledge of former vice presidents okay. in a game that we're calling Name That Vice President. All right. We have managed to get some highly trained historical actors to portray former vice presidents. Yeah. Here now we, we go. have an hour and a half to finish this game, right? No, we do not. Okay. You'll guess. You'll do it. All right. Come on out. Our first vice president.
He's got I was some the yes. going on. He's wearing a mask and he's holding a potato. Phantom of the Opera. No, that's not right. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I was the uh, 44th Vice President of the United States. I said I wanted to be Robin to the President's Batman, and I, uh, I, I misspelled the word potato. Oh. Can I, can I guess? It's, you're, you're the only one playing, yes. All oh, right. <laughs> this is Dan Quayle. That is Dan Quayle. Vice President. What is this suit? I'm not worried about the suit. I'm looking at the glasses. I know. Hello. Hey. I was the 41st I Vice President. My uh, nickname is Rocky, and my father, my grandfather, started Standard Oil. Do you know who that is? I do. Who is it? That's Nelson Rockefeller. No. No. Is it? No. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. That is me. Can you see through those right there? All right. All right, let's see uh, our next vice president. You already know who that is? No, I'm not going to guess. Uh, I want to give this right. gentleman a chance to... Okay. I was the 43rd vice president. Mm -hmm. I hate broccoli, mm -hmm. and I had it banned from all White House events. Okay. And I've celebrated multiple birthdays by skydiving. Yes, this is... George Bush. That's right. That's right. Senior. Senior. Very nice man. Have you met him? I have not met him. He's a great guy. I've met him. He's the nicest guy. Oh, I'm love, so happy to hear that. Love, I love the work he does with George uh, I love him. Yes, okay. Yes. All right. And uh, let's see our next vice president. Okay. What's happening? I think we've turned a corner and gone to another show now. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. I was the eighth vice president of the United States. My first language was Dutch. I was rumored to have worn corsets, and I had two tiger cubs as pets. Tiger cubs? Tiger cubs. A tiger cubs. Am I being punk? <laughs> is, is this a punk show? No, I, I, um, it's a... Uh, your hair is like a Brillo pad. It seems is, like a cleaning uh, supply. Who where, are you? Where were you born? Dutch. Dutch? <laughs> she was born in Dutch. Yes. Ah. Dutch. The, but wait a minute. The northern part of Dutch or the north northern yes, Dutch? Of I the see. Northern part. Could you? Okay, uh, give me another clue. Yeah. So well, this won't tell, but uh, <laughs> I was married to Hannah Hose, and we had four children. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who is it? What was your favorite food? I'm sorry, but it's broccoli. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know. That's all right. It's Martin uh, Van, Van Buren. Buren. Martin Van Buren. It's the sideburns. Oh, it's yeah. the sideburns. Right. Yes. That's it. Damn it. That's all that we have. No, you, you got three out of four. Three out of four? The Very Funny Show premieres this Sunday at 10 on HBO, and everyone in the audience is getting a copy of season one on DVD. Yeah. Yeah.